this question may be coming from any number of legends and stories that if a snake appears in your dream, this will happen, that will happen. What kind of snake it is, where was it moving, was it moving towards you, away from you, there's a whole lot of interpretations. It's best that you don't get into this because it'll get very complex and you will de develop many complexes, not necessary. The important thing is, you understand, in the process of evolution, a significant step in the physiological process has been reptilian life. You still carry that within you. If you don't transcend that, if you love something, you'll get stuck to it. If you hate something, you'll get stuck to it, isn't it? So both are not needed. If you see snakes, you see snakes, what about it? If you see trees in your dream, you don't think anything about it, isn't it? You won't go and ask anybody, I'm seeing trees, what do you think is happening? If you see young woman in your dream, you won't say, what is happening? But because there is a certain fear about the snake, because as I said, snake has received such bad press, because of that, you are asking that question and that question has been catered to in so many different ways in different traditions. Don't go there, because I am not here to revive any tradition. So don't go to traditional interpretations of you saw a snake and what's going to happen. If you drop the fear, you will see the snake as anything else. But right now this cable here is looking very much like a snake, the classic example of how your fear and whole psychological and physiological stuff happen within you is always described in yoga with this story of how if I say snake and throw a rope on you, you may have a heart attack. You will sweat, you, pal you palpitate, you scream and you jump and everything, it's just a rope. So. The danger is not in the snake, the danger and the problems are in your mind. So if you transcend certain things, you can handle this effortlessly. And above all, snake is a very perceptive creature. As I've said before, if anybody becomes very meditative, naturally snakes will come, real ones, not dream, because they're able to see. They're able to see a conducive energy. This Nagamani we are talking about is also interpreted like this. One thing is it gets its food, another thing is because it has light-sensitive foramen or pineal eye, it is not that developed now, but still there are photosensitive cells within. But when it creates the crystal, the crystal refracts and it's able to see things which are not physical in nature. This is why they see the energy of a human being and when they see the energy is very overflowingly uh, effulgent or, uh, you know, exuberant, they move in that direction naturally because they are seeing something more than the physical. Cobra is the only creature that it can see the element Akash, or akasha during daytime. So if you perceive the world, the world is yours. So those who are wise, those who are intelligence have matured, they will understand the best way, way to possess the world and the creation itself is by enhancing perception. It's in that context, Naga or the sacred serpent is very profoundly important in human life. Well, uh, for those of you who have uh, fear about the snakes, it's a fear if a uh, certain sense of gratitude and awe about the snake has to evolve. For those of you who are uh, of Western origin, well, you must understand uh, it's because of the snake, you know what is a woman and what is a man. So don't you blame, don't you be afraid of the snake, it's been good to you. If you're of Indian origin, how can you be afraid of a snake because you can't have Shiva or Vishnu or Devi or anybody without snake, without snake nobody comes. So it's time to learn to be friendly with all life on this planet. Their venomous content in their body has nothing to do with you.
has nothing at all to do with you. So, it's important that we look at life with little more reverence. Especially if you can come to terms with snakes, you come to terms with every life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video and want me to create more content like this, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.